Hi friends, in Planet Earth Dating, it's Saturday, February 6, 2021. And the reason we say in Planet Earth Dating is because that there are interdimensional viewers who are not affiliated with Planet Earth and those numbers don't have any meaning for them unless we exactly. explain the context. And that's an answer to some viewers' question. Many viewers' questions, actually. <laughs> that's a reasonably common question, but not common enough to make it onto the frequently <laughs> asked questions list, somebody else says. That is a good explanation. Right. In both the Lynn Life and the Jamie Body Mind, the authorized souls remain only child souls from the deeper denser dimensions and all other souls from all other dimensions, as long as the souls are already living by the many search for truth rules already given to the search for truth community by wiser minds above all of us. And whether or not the souls do that, it's incumbent upon the lives to hold to those rules. Otherwise, you don't stand a chance of getting quality souls. Yeah, and exactly. you just get what you get. And the astrals, sadly, have become uh, pretty much fully lawless in the depths where we find ourselves trapped, basically. So when the filming assignments come, we also need to figure out what it is we're supposed to film. And we've been uh, working through this for a day or so, and we think what we're supposed to do is follow up on some inquiries from clients about what their future incarnations are going to be like. <coughs> and this is how somebody else is talking, the microphone just switched. This is how we used to find out uh, really a lot about what was the uh, future for Earth is clients would ask with curiosity about their future incarnations and we would get to see individually for them and then we would be able to piece together something that's hey right. we hear gunfire again yeah that's right so we think it's trump supporters who are attempting to intimidate their neighbors but we could be wrong about that it's definitely people practicing big weaponry it's not pistols that's a we know where that is coming from approximately it's a long way away that's right we know the house why somebody asked why or how it's because their neighbors rat on <laughs> exactly. people talk so we've been asking uh, for various clients asking to be shown uh, on their behalf at their request asking to be shown what their future incarnations are going to be like and and we see how many of them, I guess most of them, are uh, being drawn into the currents of their vibrations. Uh, for example, there was somebody we were working with recently, and the, uh, it was not on Earth, and, and most of them are not on Earth. Actually, we, it seems like there's a really big die-off getting ready to happen on Earth because the reincarnations don't seem to be happening here. They seem to be happening on other planets, exactly. uh, most of them really far away. And many of them are planets without trees and without plants and without many life forms. And we've asked a lot of questions about that. And it seems to be that since uh, uh, those particular people are not valuing uh, trees, etc., they're not standing up for them. No, they're not going for like their hairs on fire to protect the trees, which are basically essential to life as we know it on Earth. Uh, then they, they're, why would they go to a planet with trees? They don't value trees. They don't stand up for trees. They don't care about trees. So send them to planets without trees. And th they don't care about other life. And so send them to planets without other life. That's and right. What's that planet in Star Wars where Luke is living with his uncle? And Tatooine? Uncle? Maybe. And it's mm -hmm. a planet without resources right mm -hmm. like it's just like desert a planet and they're also talking about hoth which is a frozen planet both mm. in the star wars universe both very hard places to live yeah, not exactly. easy living and they're talking about gratitude the angels and godly presences who are discussing this for reasons that are unclear to <laughs> us but they are discussing it and yeah. they're, they're saying that gratitude really counts and that most people are not only not grateful for trees and not grateful for 
wildlife and nature, but they're also not grateful for basic comforts and ease of living. Like, when things break, we can just call a repairman, you know, and we don't have to figure out w how the machine is supposed to work and what stopped working and how to fix it and where to get the part and how to do that. We don't have to figure that out. All we have to do is call a repairman and say our washing machine isn't working and give them money and they fix it. We've been talking about our assignment. Somebody upstairs has been talking about our assignment, the assignments to the host lives and the group who also has the same assignment. Like it's not just two, <laughs> there's, there's a million, precisely one, comma zero zero zero, comma zero zero zero, one million souls who had that assignment to be a portal either to or from the higher dimensions so that higher vibration presences could come into the depths and at least see what's going on and maybe file accurate reports about the situation. So uh, our assignment is to go up and to die trying is okay. Like we don't have to succeed in inspiring divine miracles to stop the destruction in a fair and just way. It's okay to die trying to inspire a divine miracle to stop the destruction in a fair and just way. And so we know that for ourselves, and I, we can only speak for this collective, is that we don't see any point of living in a place where divinity is inaccessible. Yeah, exactly. And so we would rather die trying to go up than just get sucked into the astrals along with everyone else. Exactly. And we've lately, this last couple of days, just been asking to be shown what's happening to the best of the best when their time comes as is inevitable. And we're picking examples of, for example, Thich Nhat Hanh, who is a wonderful Buddhist teacher who we have great love and respect for who's uh, in his mid 90s and he had a stroke several years ago and he has gone back to Vietnam to his uh, monastery of origin where he was a novice monk uh, to to die to live out his life and die and we have huge debts of gratitude to Thai which is a nickname for teacher to Ty for all of his wonderful teachings and so we asked what will be happening to Ty when his time comes as is inevitable and it's kind of like he gets another chance to try again in a similar setting very similar and Greta Thunberg who many people call Greta Thunberg <laughs> but that is not how she pronounces her no. name and we've really tried to learn how she pronounces her name because we don't think she's confused about <laughs> how to pronounce her name no I think she knows yeah I think she knows and Greta Thunberg uh, also seems to be given another chance at about the same level it's similar oh. to Thai yeah and so if we really think about it, and those two people are given another <laughs> chance, and everybody else is put on hard luck planets, basically. Hard luck planets. Yeah, hard luck planets. Then we, we ourselves want to try a little bit harder to inspire divine miracle. And there's this thing they're talking about that was an important teaching from our Ra that we've been working on for maybe 30 years and we still really stink at it. <laughs> and we, we work on it with focus. It makes it sound like we haven't really been trying, but we have. And we think that uh, we're, f you know, humanity is fundamentally flawed and we're just not smart enough to be the dominant species on a planet, mm -hmm. which we think is pretty much statistically playing out as accurate because we're destroying all life on Earth, and that means we're taking ourselves out also. <laughs> exactly. And we should just stop. We should just stop doing all these damaging things. We should stop breeding uh, domesticants of all species, including but not limited to humans. Spay and neuter programs for all domesticated species, including humanity. I mean, that's really essential and convert to renewables and stop eating meats, convert to veganism. And then if we just all kind of hunker down and start trying to clean up the mess and stop destroying, stop extraction, stop mining, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe we can pull this out of the ditch, but there's no move toward that at all. Mm -hmm. So 
We're not smart enough. We're just like bacteria. Exactly. And maybe worms would have been a better choice for the dominant species because we're about equally intelligent. Yeah, right. And worms are much less damaging. 